Happy Independence Day, everyone. Hey, this is Eric from Another Voice with Eric and Friends, wishing you and yours a very happy 4th of July Independence Day. You know, I've been thinking about Independence Day, about freedom, uh, recently, and two things uh, come to mind, and I just want to pass them on to you as we think about the 4th of July and our independence. Um, there have been Supreme Court decisions, laws passed in Congress, executive orders, that have caused people over the last few years to say things like, it's over, Constitution is gone, we don't have any freedoms anymore, uh, America is dead as we know it, we just aren't a free people anymore. Folks, that's just not true. We are the freest people on the planet. And while we may be upset about decisions made in the Supreme Court or uh, laws passed in Congress or locally, or what the president may do or may have done, this pessimism is very un-American. You know, things go wrong all the time. We don't always get what we want. And presidents and legislators and judges do wrong. They make mistakes. They make bad decisions. But that doesn't mean it's over. The very fact that we can loudly, repeatedly, scream at the top of our lungs about how we have no freedoms and we do it online, it's done on television, speeches all across the country from the pulpits, from in, in the barber shops. It shows us we still are a free people. Now, that doesn't mean we don't need to change things. That doesn't mean we don't need to do things. But folks, let's not throw away what we have here in this country. All the freedoms we have. But that brings me to my second thought about our freedoms. There's a trite saying, it's trite now because we've used it so much, uh, freedom isn't free. And it's a very true statement, but it's gotten overused and we kind of just think it's trite. And what's often used in connection to the sacrifices our men and women have given over the years uh, fighting for our freedoms from the very beginning in the Revolutionary War all the way to our current military. And that's very true. <clears throat> but I think it's something that we as individual citizens need to take in, in the, into mind. Freedom is not free. Too often we as Americans take our freedoms for granted. And then when something happens that infringes on them or we think it's hurting them, we get all up in arms. But the fact of the matter is, it cost something to be free. Not only men and women who are willing to make the ultimate sacrifice to protect us, but as citizens, we have a cost to pay to keep ourselves free. And that means doing things. One of the most fundamental and, to me, simplest things to do is to go push that button or pull that lever on election day, primaries, and general elections. That's a cost, but it's our job. Because if you don't like what the president has done, or you don't like what Congress has done, or you don't even like what the Supreme Court's done, and you say, well, we don't vote for the Supreme Court. No, but we vote for Congress and the president who can change things. We need to get out and vote. What was it, uh, the last primary, 14% of South Carolinians voted? It was like 34% across the nation voted in the general election. And things are never going to change unless we do something. But it's more than that. You know, when I talk about people voting intelligently, informed, and, and, and keeping up on the issues, people say, well, we're busy. We have our own lives. We have our responsibilities. We have our jobs, families. We don't have time to put into that. Folks, this is our lives. This is the future of our country, the future for your children. If there's anything that we need to be paying attention to, it's this. Freedom isn't free. If you're upset today, about the rulings in the Supreme Court, if you're upset about what 
the president has done. If you don't like some of the laws that are being passed in Washington or in Columbia or in Greenville, you need to get involved. Vote, but constantly tell your elected representatives what you want. And you know what? Maybe you need to get out there and say, I'm going to run for city council. I'm going to you know, run for Senate. Freedom isn't free. And on this July 4th, let's vow to take up the mantle that our founders started and make a difference in our freedom and make America continually growing better. All right, folks, you can check out Another Voice with Eric and Friends at canigetawordin.com or go to Facebook at Another Voice with Eric and Friends. You can go to YouTube at Be Another Voice. Until we get together again, get out in your community and make a difference.